Hello, Rube here, and welcome to another episode of ARK. I thought it was time I check in on my Scorched Earth progress and kind of remind myself and you guys of uh, where I got up to. I haven't played on Scorched Earth for quite a while. Uh, I was doing it, I guess, around this time last year, actually. It's, uh, it, it's New Year's Day today. Um, and then uh, Genesis came out on fe February 25th, and I figured that's pretty much all anybody wanted to see, so then I just concentrated exclusively on Genesis after that. Um, but this is still a cool map, so uh, let's have a look over here at this little base location that I have for myself. Um, right here, so basically this is by the blue obelisk, right there, uh, in the north western corner of the map. Um, and I've kind of established a little house here. Now why I built this out of wood and not out of adobe, I don't know. I'm assuming there was a good reason for it at the time, because in general it's not really a good idea in the desert, because it gets really, really hot in here. Uh, but yeah, we have fabricated air conditioning, dung beetles, uh, all that, all that good stuff. Up on the... oops, ah, beetles, you are seriously in the way. My ladder is damaged. Can I please get over here so I can climb up the ladder? Thank you. Up here we have a moth and... oh, okay, something decided to attack us. Oh, awesome. We have our little moth, which, uh, from memory, it took me a really long time to actually find a decent high level one and manage to tame it. Uh, and moths are basically completely useless, but I wanted to have one anyway because it's part of the uh, authentic Scorched Earth experience. So uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there is our moth. Down here we have, of course, a pair of very brightly coloured ankies. Everything's kind of in um, event colours because the uh, the Christmas event was running uh, when I started this map, just like it is now. Then we have our toucan, who I actually bred over on uh, Ragnarok many eons ago. Um, who's uh, pretty fantastic as far as, as stats go. And then I'm not really sure what why I bothered taming a parasol. Probably just because it's green and I can't resist a green 180. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, green with envy. Uh, we have a little thorny dragon, and then we have a bunch of uh, morellatops, which, for reasons best known to my past self, seem to be named after dental products. <laughs> this one is dental floss, and then over here we seem to have toothbrush. And Humpty Dumpty and Humphrey. I I, I, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, so not not looking too shabby over here. And then up on this hill, kind of overlooking the base, we have uh, a cage full of vultures. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this. I actually recorded some uh, footage uh, this is the, the last time I played on this, uh, where I went out and tamed a bunch of these and, and bred them. And let's just say it didn't quite go according to plan. Um, I never published the footage at the time, because, like I said, just because it was right before Genesis came out. Um, but for the rest of the episode, I'm actually gonna gonna show you guys that because it's it was pretty fun. Today I'm out in the desert on scorched earth, and I want to start uh, building up a flock of vultures. So I'm just gonna collect as many as I can. And then, oops, not like that, I'm not. And then start breeding them and hopefully get uh, better and better stats. This one is actually a low level one, but he's got um, exotic colors. So add him to the collection and we'll just combine everything together and see what we end up with. So. Ah, hope I don't make him attack me by killing something. Okay, let's put a tent on top of you. Are you stuck in the tent now? You are stuck in the tent. Okay, excellent start. Now, I want to get in the tent and not let you out of the tent. Can I feed you like this? Yes, come on. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay. Vulture number one. That was really easy. Okay. So we'll just uh, pick up the tent again then. Okay, we're on the board. Oh, if only they were all that easy. Let's see what level is this one. That's only a 48. Probably not going to bother with that. Um, 102. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go get that one as well. Just gonna grab a whole bunch of them here and then figure out what to do with them later. Oh no! 
Uh, so the two vultures I had were killed by this death worm. So, uh, yeah, not the best start. <laughs> I'm surprised about that, actually. I did not think that um, flying things had to worry about being killed by death worms, but apparently they do. So, um, yes, we'll just uh, deal with this very slowly and um, I guess fly a little bit higher above the ground. Well, uh, starting again. So I've managed to get four of them so far, another four after losing the initial two. Um, one of which is a nice green one. Um, and then... How many females do I have? Two females over here. Um, but now a sandstorm's come in, which is okay, it just means I need to hang out in a tent for a while and uh, wait for it to pass, and then we'll see uh, how many more we can get. Um, don't really need to bother with any more males unless I see a really high level one, but I should collect as many females as possible. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, I've been around the map several times, as you can see, mainly following around the outside because it's easier to see the vultures in the desert. And I've collected a huge bunch of them and I've built an uh, aviary on the top of this hill here, kind of overlooking the base. And if we go inside, you'll see that I now have quite the collection of vultures. So this is uh, Vulture P's stats. I haven't leveled him up at all, so um, his... Oh, what is going on? Oh wow. <laughs> Apparently we were attacked by a direwolf and it's got these guys very excited. <laughs> calm down, calm down folks. Nope. <laughs> Another direwolf. <laughs> Settle folks. Just... Anyway, the one I want to look at is right here. So yeah, uh, 1000 health to start and uh, 912 melee damage, so that's what we're looking for on the offspring. So I'm going to enable mating on him, and hopefully he will sit somewhere useful, like vaguely near a couple of other females. Uh, where's the nicely coloured ones? There we go. Actually, this one here, uh, Vulture O, has one of the nicest colour schemes, I think. Kind of the dark colour with um, green and then the white head, so we're going to enable mating on that one for sure. And then this is quite a nice one too. But probably a little far away. <laughs> so I'm going to just put the Dravoa down for a second. Let's pick you up and put you right there. Then we can have you enable mating as well. And these things spit out eggs extremely quickly, so um, it's not going to take very long to get what we want here. Um, let's get a... Uh, yeah, you'll do. Let's have a green one over here too. Add you to the pile. Enable mating on you. What about this one? Yeah, that's quite a nice one. Let's take this one as well. Why is this one flying around? Sit still. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't start that again. Yeah. Am I carrying one or not? Yeah, I want to just kind of throw you on the ground. <laughs> Won't let me throw it because there's too many things it's trying to open there. There we go. Whee! <laughs> okay, uh, and then we'll enable mating on you as well. Okay, that should be enough. Now, all these eggs that you're busily creating, we need to start picking them up because the temperature is wrong. So, um, hold on. Pick up elf. And where's all the eggs? Okay. Um, oh, there we are. I saw an egg. Give me the eggs. Pick up all nearby. Two. No, there's more than two. I can see another one smoking over here. There we are. Okay, so I've got the first batch of eggs here in a massive pile. Hatching them in my house, unfortunately, because I need the air conditioning to keep the temperature right. Um, so this could be very exciting. <laughs> um, and I need to claim all of them and check all of them for uh, the two stats that I'm interested in because I can't just rely on 
the highest level having what I want because I don't care about any of the other stats. I'm not going to use them to carry things. I'm not going to. I can't ride them, so they don't need stamina. Just want the health and the weight. Um, so hopefully we'll get a few nice ones out of this. They are hatching extremely quickly, so we've just got a few seconds, and they should all start to pop out. Oh wow! <laughs> exciting okay where let's um oh boy this could take a while straight away there's a good one okay so i should change the name of something this time i'm going to use numbers first generation i use letters this time i'm going to use numbers so you're number one um colors are kind of boring though that's okay about you, you know, so we don't like you. I'm not going to start unclaiming them yet because I don't ever remember which ones I've done. Um, you know, 212, that one seems really high. That, is this a good thing? Uh, yes, we'll keep that one as well. I guess I should probably start with the ones with the highest level because they are most likely after all. This one can be Ultra 2. Um, I forgot to turn the door off auto open as well, which I can tell I'm going to regret. You are, yep, you're another good one. Change name, oh, eh. Change name to Ultra 3. Wow. Um, switch to manual, please don't open. Okay. Okay, so that was really exciting. Um, they grew up so fast that they actually started to lay another round of eggs before I had time to um, clean up this first lot. And because the air conditioning was in here, the eggs started hatching. So um, basically I had to put my dung beetles on aggressive to start cleaning up the uh, babies so that I didn't, well, ultimately crash my computer with an excess of vultures in this little tiny space. Um, but now I have narrowed it down to, I think I have 11 in here that all have the, um, the top health and the top damage. So, I mean, basically mission accomplished, kind of. Uh, yeah, don't try this at home. It was, it was entertaining, but very messy. So now I need to try and get them all outside. Um, where's that aggressive dung beetle gone? Thank you very much for your help, but you don't need to do that anymore. Um, yes, so I'm going to open the door. You guys got really excited because there was all kinds of chaos happening in the house. So you all tried to come in and, and take part because that's just what you're like. Um, but now you all need to get away from the doorway so I can actually get things out of the doorway. I also have a horrible feeling I left the vultures up in the cage breeding as well. So, um, I mean, their eggs won't hatch because it's too cold, um, but there might be quite a large pile of them. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, you can all come with me. Or try to. Oops, I actually called that one Walter. I did. Yeah, I spelled it with a W. Oops. I did panic a little bit, I have to admit. Um, of course, now I'm also stuck. Can any of, are any of you guys smart enough to find the door? Oh yes, a few of you are. One of you is trying to get out the window, so that's not ideal. But um, The rest of you weren't actually so bad. Oh, Vulture 5 isn't following. Can you follow, please? No, don't come back in again. Everybody out. Outside, outside, outside. Apart from the one that's stuck in the window. Nope, you actually all made it out. Okay, I'm impressed. Very impressed that you managed to get out. Not all is lost after all. Let's close the door and take all of you up here. Those. I think we've done pretty well here. 
So I just need to level them up, basically, um, and they're going to be pretty awesome. What's going on up here, though? Holy... Oh, they have been hatching. <gasps> oh, no! Okay, um, let's not panic. We won't panic. Um, we're just going to climb up here. Oops. No, we're going to climb up here. We're going to climb up here. Vultures, please, can you get out of the... What is going... Can we just... I need to climb up the ladder, please. We're going to climb up here. And then we're going to open the hatch and go inside. And all of you are going to come in with me, okay? I'm glad I have at least contained this mess in... here. Okay. Everyone, stop following. Okay. Holy... Yeah. Um... Oops, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, damn it, now I'm stuck again. There's really nothing for it here. Um... Here we go. That was underwhelming. Why did that not work? Why, why are you not... Why are you guys not doing anything? Must I start this? Can you, like, move or something? Why is this not working? I need you guys to start fighting, otherwise we're in trouble. Why was I killed by a- what the- what the- what- what- what? What? <laughs> I, what? I'm confused. <laughs> okay. What on earth is happening in that cage? And why- supposed to attack me? <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, let's just pick up all the eggs that are nearby so we don't get any more hatching. Um, are you still trying to kill me or what? Oh, there's some out here as well. Okay. Um, what's going on down here? Oh my goodness! What is going on? Look, can we, like, not fight a rock golem? Because that's a terrible idea. And shit, everything is going horribly wrong all of a sudden. Vultures, help! At least get a weapon out. Oh no, I haven't got a weapon because I died in the stupid... Look, you. Help. I have to rescue my, um... Argy because it will actually die fighting this rock golem if I'm not careful. Can you be passive and follow me? No, 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 rock golem, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, bird. What are you doing? Please! <laughs> Stop! Okay. Let's get out of there. Okay, you were gonna come in here with these guys. It might seem like a bad idea, but it is really the only way I can effectively- DON'T KILL ME! What the- Okay, so here's my plan for- So here's the deal. 
I have unwittingly turned my aviary into a kind of vulture death trap for myself. So while I was down at the house, I accidentally left the guys up in the aviary breeding, which wouldn't normally be a problem except that the temperature in the environment became hot enough for the eggs to hatch by themselves, which means that when I went up there, there were chicks everywhere, but they grow up really quickly, of course, too. So they were all adult now, unclaimed, and there were corpses. And the minute you get corpses, vultures get really aggressive. So when the instant I go anywhere near my aviary, they all try to kill me. So this is war. Okay, so as far as I know, they're all still in there. Um, what I'm going to do is build a little safe house for myself, like around here somewhere. See, thousands of them. The lid is open, unfortunately. I'm just having to hope like hell that they don't decide to come out of there. Um, hopefully, what is the temperature right now? 30 degrees. I think that's too cold for them to actually hatch. I hope. I really don't need any more. Um, set this up like this. This door is going to be manual. Put me in here. Okay, so now I am going to remove pieces of wall and have the creatures that I brought up here with me, mainly my. Oops, hang on. Anki, come here, please. I need your help. Okay. Take pieces of wall away and have um, Toucan and um, Excellent here uh, clean up the mess. And hopefully I'm safe in this bunker and they can't actually get me. But they're all going to try, see? I think. Well, actually, I'm not really sure what they're doing. Um. Okay, what's happening out there? So far, so good. Okay, let's release another bunch. This seems like a terrible idea, but oh god. Um, I think it might be working. I wish I could see what's going on over there. Oh, yeah, there's my Anki. Looks like there's a whole heap of stuff falling down. So. Uh, oh wow, I guess Toucan's having a really good time up there. Why is my Anki killing a Morellatops? That's not part of the plan. Okay, um, there's still a few more up there, so let's uh, I'll be really careful that I don't accidentally um, Make a hole in my own bunker. Excellent, where are you going? What are you doing? Did you fall off? Okay, there's nothing for it. I'm gonna have to make a hole on this side now too. Can I reach from over here? Trying, but I can't reach. No, okay. What's going on? This Anki's on a rampage, but he's not doing the right thing. This is really dangerous. Not for the reason you think. Right. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Okay. Tukin's gone in there. I'm getting in here really quickly. Um, are we good now? I'm dying of overheating, but apart from that, I think we might actually be okay. Um, where... Where is everyone? Be 
You can stop killing everything now. Where's my Anki gone? Look at the devastation out here. There's like just dead stuff everywhere. Um, and a lot of dead vultures. <laughs> a lot. Um, okay, let's pick up as many eggs as we can because I don't want... Are they all dead in there now? Hope so. Where's my... oh. Anki, could you like be neutral and... Come up here. I think we're okay. I think... I think we have dealt with the situation. This looks like, yeah, we've got a big pile of goop over here, but I think basically they're all dead. I've no idea where the good ones are, of course. They're probably out in the wilderness somewhere, um, eating everything. Uh, oh, wow. There's a lot of eggs here. Um, if I pick these up, I'm going to be really heavy. So, you. I am going to pick them up because I can't afford to have them hatching. But I need something to offload them onto, so bird here, me here, pick up 91, <laughs> um, and then we'll just offload them all over here. Even you can't carry them all, can you? Oh, my Anki turned up. Okay. All the points into weight so that you can actually carry some. Can I pick up the rest now? To, yeah. Some of these were really close to hatching. Gotta pick them all up. We all need to. Oh no, now I'm too heavy. Uh... Okay, throw it. Throw it enough that I can move. You'll have to carry some as well. Everybody carry vulture eggs. eating them all really. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna clean up all this garbage. Yum. Or something. out here. I'm not taking any chances with this. <laughs> oh wow, the whole bunch of them have fallen out the door, look. <laughs> they didn't even fit anymore, so they all just fell out. too cold so I'm going to say this is a good sign. All right let's um yeah we're really heavy I know I know let's uh head down here very slowly and at last we have recovered uh, cleaned everything up. After that I had the vast sum of two vultures that actually survived and were still on my side. 
Um, but I did have hundreds and hundreds of eggs. It was something like 240 odd, I can't remember exactly. Um, so I hatched up some more and picked the best stats again, this time in a controlled fashion. Um, and now I have these guys. My aviary is populated again. They're all on passive. Nobody is breeding. Everything is under control. And they look awesome. So that's going to be the end of the episode. Um, Really looking forward to trying these guys out in a cave. I've experienced firsthand multiple times how deadly they are, so um, I'm going to feel a lot safer exploring with these following me. Um, so in the meantime, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!